Welcome to Chemistry Tutorial 360. Today we are going to draw the Lewis structure for carbon monoxide, right? Okay. To draw the carbon monoxide, we will add up some steps. So, at f in the first step, we will find out the valence electron of carbon and oxygen. So, to find out the valence electron of carbon, uh, we have to know the electronic configuration of carbon. Look at here, the atomic number of carbon is 6. If you do electronic configuration for carbon, then you will get this electronic configuration. So here the uh, outermost cell or the highest, uh, highest number of principal quantum number n equal to 2. And in n equal to 2, uh, we are getting four four electrons two plus two that is the highest uh, the outermost cell or the maximum value of n will indicate the valence valence shell and the electrons in valence shell are called valence electrons so in case of carbon we have four valence electron now we have to find out the valence electron of oxygen look at here uh, the atomic number of oxygen is 8 so if you do electronic configuration then you will get this and here the maximum value of uh, n equal to 2 and for n equal to 2 you, we are getting two, 4 plus 2 that is 6 valence electron right okay so uh, oxygen has 6 valence electron okay let me show you another way to find the valence electrons for carbon and oxygen okay let me remember you that the group number tells us the number of valence electrons for the element look at here uh, carbon is the is a element of group 4a or 14 4a means carbon has four valence electron and 14 means you have to uh, deduct the first digit so 14 means you have four valence electron look at here on the other hand oxygen is element of group 6 say that is it has six valence electron and uh, or oxygen is a uh, is a element of 16 group that is if you have to uh, detect the first digit so you are getting six valence electron so look at here so in carbon dioxide molecule uh, we have uh, four valence electron for carbon and six valence electron for oxygen. Totally, we are getting ten valence electrons, right? Ten valence electrons in carbon monoxide. To draw the Lewis structure in the second step, what I'll I do? I have to find out the uh, central atom in carbon monoxide look at here in carbon monoxide the central atom will be carbon because carbon is the uh, uh, less electronegative than oxygen you know that central atom uh, usually the atoms that is less electronegative so in the second second step i am uh, going to find out the uh, central atom so here central atom is carbon so in the third step what I'll do I have to connect central atom with outer atom as you know that here outer atom is oxygen so I have to connect central atom with uh, outer atom by a single bond the single bond mean, means uh, uh, means two valence electrons right now look at here we have connected central atom with outer atom now uh, what I'll do I have to satisfy the octet for outer atom first so we have to first uh, satisfy the outer atom for its octet look at here we have used just two valence electron but totally we have here 10 so 10 minus 2 so 8 left right 8 left so by using 8 left so now we have to use this valence electron to satisfy the outer atom uh, outer atoms octet first so let me uh, let me satisfy oxygen first so oxygen here has two these two valence electron will be shared by both atoms so here oxygen has two then i am giving here two four then six then eight look at here 
here the octet for oxygen is complete so now look at this thing so we have used two four six eight so but totally we have 10 totally we have 10 and we have used here 8 so we have uh, 2 and these two must come over this carbon right now look at this thing this oxygen has octet but this carbon doesn't have any octet right so what will I do to uh, to fulfill the octet for carbon I will use the lone pair from outer atom right to fulfill the octet for central atom so let me use this uh, pair uh, this lone pairs right okay so okay I have to draw and I have to draw a single bond by using this lone pair then uh, carbon has two two to six valence electron so still the octet for car carbon is not fulfilled so i will use this pair of electron right so let me use so i if i use this then i have to use here a bond so let me delete now look at these things carbon has two 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 that is eight valence electron and oxygen uh, has two 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 that is eight valence electron so we have satisfied both atoms right so this is the uh, Lewis dot structure for carbon monoxide right okay now let me uh, find out the formal charge for carbon and oxygen look at here we have gotten this structure right look at here formal or to find out formal charge we, we will use this uh, formula or this formula actually these two formula uh, is similar so look at here uh, here uh, the uh, let me first find out the uh, formal charge for carbon okay so formal charge is equal to valency electrons of a specific atom minus dot attached to that atom minus line attached to the atoms so look at here for carbon what will what will happen the valency electron of carbon we know that four and the dots related to carbon is two and the lines to carbon is 3 so basically we are getting minus 1 right so the formal charge of carbon is minus 1 look at here now let me find out the formal charge for oxygen right so here the valency electrons of oxygen we have gotten from the electronic configuration is 6 minus dot attached to oxygen is 2 minus lines attached to oxygen is 3 so we are getting here plus 1 so plus 1 right look at here this plus and this minus will cancel each other and will get carbon monoxide as a neutral molecule right okay let me show the formal charge of carbon and oxygen by using this second formula valence electrons minus unbonded electrons that is dots minus uh, half of bonded electron look at here this is the lewis structure right okay this single bond means two valence electron look at here we have here six for one line we have two valence electrons for three line we have six look at here so to find the uh, formal charge for carbon look at here we have valency uh, electrons uh, for carbon is uh, four from the electron configuration then unbounded electrons for carbon we have two minus 
uh, minus half of bonded electrons. Here we have bonded electron is 6 divided by 2, right? So if we calculate, then we are getting 4 minus 2 minus 3, that is minus 1. The formal charge for carbon is minus 1. And for oxygen, look at here, the valence electron of oxygen will be 6 from the electronic configuration minus unbonded electrons is 2, 2 minus uh, bonded electrons divided by 2. Bonded electron is 6 divided by plus 1, right, plus 1. So, thus you, we can find out the formal charge of carbon monoxide. I have a special blog post in the description box of this video. If you are interested, you can read that blog post. So, thank you for viewing this video. Be well.